Hey friends, this is Jennifer Terry and welcome to another Philippine travel update. Kumusta kayo? How are you all? I hope you're all safe. Today is July 30. So usually at the end of the month, there's always announcements by the IATF. Green list gets updated and um, community quarantine classifications and the restrictions can learn. That is what we're going to talk about in this video and other stuff too. So let's start with the travel advisory of the Philippine Airlines. So Philippine Airlines reminded all passengers po landing in Manila, Davao, and Lawag, you must register for One Health Pass. One Health Pass is meant to replace po yung yellow card. This is the transition to replace yung uh, yellow card na ibinibigay sa airplane to just um, register online. So, registration takes a two-step process po yan. First, you go to onehealthpass.com and then you receive your code. After you receive your code, on the day of your flight, you apply for the QR code. I'll soon, very soon upload my tutorial video on that. But moving forward, um, the community quarantine classification in the Philippines has been revised, no? Um, specifically for Cebu. Cebu City and Cebu Province will be under MECQ. And NCR, Manila, will be under ECQ po. That is the strictest level of quarantine in the Philippines. That's starting August 6 and 20. We already talked about Kung ECQ ba, may flights ba? Yes po, my flights. Domestic and international flights will still operate despite of ECQ classification in Manila. But, we'll talk about later on the Philippine Travel Advisory why, how this ECQ will affect flights. Okay, so pakitingnan na lang guys kung lugar nyo, kung saan kayo dyan. Remember that if your area is under ECQ, you can't literally do anything. You just stay at home. So, sa mga bakasyonista dyan, expect, expect. If you're landing in Iloilo, CDO, Ginoog City, and NCR, ay, talagang stay at home siya, guys. MECQ, very strict as well. And GCQ, not so much. You can even do some tourist, touristry stuff here in GCQ with the height and restrictions. GCQ also, it's not bad. MGCQ, it's the most relaxed measure. So, if you're going home to a MGCQ area, then that's good. Marami kayo magagawa. But still, no, why is Cebu under MECQ? Governor Gwen and the mayors there have been very clear. No to lockdown. They don't want lockdown. What we want the public to realize is, yes, we acknowledge. There's a rise in the cases. Everywhere. Saka mana. But... Kung samanta di resibo, wak na gito'y nakatunan. Nga every time mo saka ang kaso, mag-lockdown ta? Magsigit tag panic Well, today, IATF announced this morning that they will be on MECQ, which is basically a lockdown. So, according to the IATF, it, they are still open for LGU appeals. They already know what the Cebu province, Cebu government is appealing. They don't want MECQ. So what's the point of announcing MECQ? Why did they not cooperate with the LGU before announcing it to everyone, di ba? Gawa na lang po kayo ng group chat. Gawa na lang kayo ng group chat. Governor Gwen and the municipality mayors, city mayors in Cebu already called for one voice and that is to ask the national the IATF to reconsider downgrading the cities from MECQ to GCQ ayaw nila ng MECQ so bakit pa kailangan mag-announce this morning yung IATF sana mag-usap muna kayo and going to the controversial statement of the president in his talk to the people the other day he mentioned about uh, unvaccinated people should just stay at home. He's thinking about making a law that will restrict unvaccinated people to stay at home lang and only vaccinated people can go outside. Ito ngayong ayaw magpabakuna, sinasabi ko sa inyo, huwag kayong lumabas ng bahay. Kasi pag lumabas kayo ng bahay, sabihin ko sa mga polis, Ibalik ka doon sa bahay mo, you'll be escorted back to your house because you are uh, a walking spreader. Uh, walang katapusan doon kung pagbigyan ko lang kayo 
maghina uh, ang loob ko dahil iyak-iyak kayo dyan. Eh, ibang istorya ito, Adre. Uh, bayan itong pinag-uusapan natin. Kaya kung ayaw ninyong makatulong by having the vaccines, uh, di, wag na lang kayo lumabas ng bahay. Uh, uwi. Eh, di total pa buho pa. Sa bahay man talaga sila papunta. Eh, pilitan lang ihatid sa bahay. We do not have a law, a punitive action that can be taken against the person who does not uh, have the vaccine and go around making it dangerous for the others to acquire the virus. The Department of Health Undersecretary said and clarified today that there will be no distinction between vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. The point of our officials, I, we don't have enough supplies for the country to say that only vaccinated individuals can go out and unvaccinated cannot go out. It is not the time yet. Listen to that, guys. It is not the time yet to make or impose such regulation, regulations. There might be legal implications to this. So, ay nako, guys. It is a clue that the Philippines will soon do that. Maybe not now, but maybe three months before the year ends, just like what the Department of Health Secretary Duque said. I really disagree on that because, first, only around 6% of Filipinos are fully vaccinated. Tapos, you will say, only vaccinated can go outside. What? Actually, maraming Pilipino gusto magpabakuna. Hindi po yung tao yung problema sa ngayon. Yung supply nyo po, government. Kaya huwag nyong sabihin vaccinated, unvaccinated. No. Kung marami kayong supply, siguro. Pero ngayon, excuse me. Moving forward, guys, it is a sad day for our Filipinos from the travel-restricted countries. Again, the ban is extended. It is actually quite obvious. And this 15... I have a strong feeling that they will extend again until July, ag until August 13th. If you're coming from these countries, you are not allowed to enter the Philippines. The only way for you to come home is through repatriation and through special commercial flights. The special commercial flights have already started in Dubai. Uh, last Oh, today, July 30 pala. Um, Manila, uh, Dubai to Davao. Oh, let's talk about the flights now. How will the ECQ and GCQ heighten restrictions lockdown in Manila? How will it affect flights? Philippine Airlines released an advisory today. According to them, for this heightened GCQ and ECQ periods until August 20, domestic travel to and from Manila will be limited to only essential travelers including NCR Plus residents returning to Manila in compliance with the air travel restrictions imposed by the authorities. Listen, international and domestic flights to and from Manila shall continue operating during the ECQ and heightened GCQ periods. Oh, diba? They will continue, guys. But for domestic flights, they will reduce or cancel some flights on certain routes as a result of the restrictions. For sure, flights to and from Manila will be reduced because only essential travelers, travelers will be allowed to board the plane. How about you international travelers going home to your provinces? Are you allowed? Yes, you are an essential traveler, guys. How about when you're leaving the country, pa palabas na ng abroad? For let's say, example, you're from Jensan, you go to Manila, then Manila to abroad, are you allowed? Yes po, you are an essential traveler. Now let's talk about the updated list of green list countries. As if, if you may not know, green list countries means if you're coming from these countries, you're fully vaccinated, you can enjoy a shorter quarantine of only seven days compared to the usual 10 days. All right, so are your countries now included? I know majority if you're coming from the US, Canada, it's still not included. And a lot of countries here are countries that where not a lot of Filipinos are, are coming from. Okay, so these are the lists, guys. Um, they've actually reduced the numbers. Now it's only down to 51 countries. There you go. Albania, Australia is still there. Um, China is still there. Brunei, Hong Kong, New Zealand. Yeah, guys, 
Poland, Taiwan, yeah. 14 countries were removed and only three were added. Among those that were added were Bulgaria, Hungary, and Kosovo. And then a lot of countries were removed. Sadly, Greenland, Iceland, Israel, South Korea, and Vietnam were removed, guys. It is very sad. South Korea, Viet uh, South Korea, a lot of Filipinos here. As you can see, even countries that used to have zero cases like Israel are seeing a surge. South Korea are also facing a surge. So that is our update for today, guys. I know a lot of you are scared because of what's going on of this lockdown. Um, we just hope that they don't change the um, entry rules now. For example, especially for Balikbayans and foreigners. Look, as long as the Philippines can still manage it, we don't reach the level of critical capacity in the hospitals like what we've seen in our neighboring countries like Indonesia, India. Um, stay safe and God bless you all guys. Still guys, you cannot expect that the Philippines will open up to foreign tourists not this month and I don't think even next month. Um, the shorter quarantine, malabong malabo ko. Bahil dahil dahil ito sa mga Delta variants. So for now guys, take care, get, get vaccinated, encourage your family in the Philippines as well to get vaccinated. And I'll see you again with another travel update. Ingat po kayo and God bless. Bye!